Hey, third grade. Um, one of the nice things, if we're trying to find nice things because we miss terribly being in school and learning with you all, but when I am home and your third grade teachers are home, um, they're, they're with their family and they're with their pets like Lady. And the next city that we are gonna learn about this week um, in our social studies program is one that my basement can give you some really good hints on. So what I'm gonna do is show you a few things of my home in my basement. And I want you to think of what city might we be learning about this week in social studies. Hey, if you guessed Pittsburgh third grade, you're right. We are in week 12 of Social Studies Weekly, and we are gonna look at the city of Pittsburgh and learn some cool facts about it. And by Wednesday, we'd like you to kind of take a day, just a work day at home, and make something about Pittsburgh. And we're gonna give you lots of ideas of what you could do to make something and teach us something about Pittsburgh. All right, so third grade, what I'm doing, just to make sure everything's still working for you guys, and you do know that when you're on the internet, because I'm gonna offer a couple places this week that you could go, we are, I should say, as a third grade team, um, to see virtual tours and learn things about Pittsburgh. But we're gonna stop them and tell you always want you to be safe on the computers, okay? So when you are searching places, when you are on the computer, when you are doing online learning, you should always have an adult near home beside you um, and if you're ever in doubt, you get out, okay? Those are Mrs. Skelly's famous words I say about a thousand times every school year. If you're in doubt on the internet, in doubt, get out. Um, so I'm just back to our Studies Weekly, and I'm clicking on Pennsylvania Community Studies Weekly in grade three is underneath it. And this week we are starting on week 11, although you're welcome to go back and reread or do things from other weeks that you've done. It's week 11, and the title is Economics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, when you open it up and you scroll down, you look at all the different things. Um, one of the articles is about Pittsburgh, and it's titled Town of Steel, and that steel is spelled S-T-E-E-L, you're going to notice, which is um, the material, not steel and home base or something like that. So I'm going to read for you um, a little bit from this, um, pa this passage, and then we are gonna try to see if we can come up with a few answers to the questions, and then I'm gonna offer you a site that you could go to um, to search and learn a little bit about Pittsburgh on your own. Wednesday, keep in mind, it's gonna be a work day, a little project day, if you could turn it in or keep it to turn into your teacher when we get organized, and some of the things you're learning and you're researching Monday and Tuesday are things you might need for Wednesday's project. Okay? All right. So our uh, passage begins like this. Pittsburgh has been named the Steel City because of the many steel mills and factories that are built here. Because Pittsburgh was close to many good sources of coal and ores, many companies brought their businesses here to use all of the natural resources. During the late 1800s, so a long time ago, 200 years ago, Pittsburgh was one of the largest steel and machinery centers in the whole United States. Because of all the steel mills and factories, there was a lot of pollution. Now, pollution tells you anything that's considered harmful or poisonous to the environment. The city was often called the Smoky City because of all that pollution until the steel mills and the factories found safe ways to get rid of most of that pollution. Now today, 2020, Pittsburgh makes products from metal and wood, plastic, paper, and glass. It's also a center for printing all kinds of books and magazines. The city of Pittsburgh makes clothes and computers. It refines oil and chemicals. The city of Pittsburgh is a busy place because of the many businesses that are found here. Now, Back in the past a little bit, it tells us Pittsburgh was built on the spot where an American Indian town called, oh, here comes Mrs. Skelly. I'm just gonna try my best with it. Use my, my skills here. I'm gonna say Shinopin or 
harsh and often one stood. Uh, the English claimed the land and called their, and called, excuse me, their settlement Fort Pitt. When the town was settled in 1760, it was called Pittsburgh after the fort. And here's one of the crazy things I learned just by researching some of these sites. Pittsburgh wasn't always spelled the way it is today. Um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was spelled for a time span without the H on the end, which is kind of neat. So, the busy city of Pittsburgh today is home to Carnegie Mellon University, and we're going to talk about universities, which are kind of, not kind of, they're colleges when we get through our 12th grade year. Uh, the University of Pittsburgh, Chatham University, Duquesne University, and Carlow University. Visitors also enjoy museums in Pittsburgh. There's the Andy Warhol Museum. There's a science center, which is really cool that the Skelly kids have gone to. We have the Carnegie Library, Old Fort Pitt, and the Pittsburgh Zoo, which tomorrow I'm going to show you the Pittsburgh Zoo site, um, just how to navigate it and to learn some things about the animals that live there. So great things about Pittsburgh and something maybe even best about Pittsburgh, it's really not terribly far away for us. So if we have access to a car or transportation to summer and you're learning some things about Pittsburgh or you see things as we're studying Pittsburgh this week, it might be even a nice thing for family and you to go and visit and see it firsthand. Okay, so we have a couple of questions I'm going to ask you and we're going to talk about trying to find a very good answer, okay, and even getting rid of answers that we know could be silly, okay. So if you're using this online, the very first sentence or question sounds like this. Why, what, excuse me, is the nickname given to Pittsburgh due to its many steel mills and factories? So steel mills, hmm, it's a nickname. Is it nicknamed the Smoky City, the Ore City, the Coal City, or the Steel City? Now we read in the first paragraph, it is indeed nicknamed, give you a second to think, the Steel City. And it's really in there in the question, it gives you a big hint because of the many steel mills there. So sometimes third grade questions can help you find the answer. All right, let's look at our second question and see how you do. And if you're going and looking online with me, you can self check and see if you get the correct answer. All right. So number two says, what caused the city of Pittsburgh to be known as the Smoky City in the 1800s? Remember we said about 200 years ago? So was it called the Smoky City because of clouds? We don't read anything about clouds, so we know that's a silly answer. Uh, Native Americans, pollution, coal and ores. So we've already figured out clouds is silly. I don't think Native Americans made the city smoky. So we're between coals and ores and pollution. So that's pretty good. We have a 50-50 chance. I'm gonna give you a chance to think on your own. Was it called the Smoky City because of coal and ores or because of pollution in the 1800s? And if you're doing this with me, you can click on. All right, if you are ready or I'll clog your ears, the answer is pollution. We had all those factories going and we didn't know how to safely get rid of all the pollution. All right, the last question, and then we're just gonna simply attach a site or two that you could search on your own and learn a few things about Pittsburgh. Jot down a few facts if you have a notebook or a piece of paper as you're, as you're researching at home. All right, so the third question says, Pittsburgh is known to be a busy happening place. So busy and lots of things going on. So we wanna know why is it known as that? Is it because it is dirty? Well, that doesn't make sense. Um, it is too crowded, maybe, maybe a busy happening place. Um, it's home to so many colleges and universities. We read about that, college and universities. And we also read about its home to many various businesses. Okay, so we got rid of its dirty, and we're also gonna get away with try to eliminate its crowded because we didn't really talk about Pittsburgh being crowded. But, fast fact for you, because I was doing some research and you can too, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is the second largest city in Pennsylvania. So that's pretty cool. 
All right, so why is it a busy happening place? I'll give you a second to think. All right, the correct answer, if you're clicking or thinking, is it is because it is home to so many various businesses, tons of businesses going on in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, so that's online, that's week 11, and what we're gonna do is attach a YouTube video as well as a kind of virtual tour of Pittsburgh that you can learn some facts and look at again and write a few things down because Wednesday's gonna be a project day and we're gonna make something about the city of Pittsburgh. All right.